Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Conway Mayor Mark Casberry. We're here with State Representative Spencer Hawks and David Hove from Faulkner County. We're going to start with some good news today. The river has crested. It's reached its peak on our levee. Uh, we, we do have some room to spare. This is good news. However, you need to understand that it's going to be a slow decrease in the volume of water out there, and we will continue to monitor the levee until the threat has passed. Uh, the predicted heavy rainfall that was predicted for our area has been moved slightly north central and northeast Arkansas, uh, but we will continue to monitor that. There is a low pressure system or a tropical storm that possibly could affect Arkansas in the coming days, but we will monitor that, and if, if it becomes necessary, we will update you on that. The Lake Conway area, and I'm speaking strictly to the Lake Conway area that, that is in the city of Conway, the city limits of Conway, we're going to continue to monitor that as well, but at this time, we do not see Lake Conway having an, an impact on the, uh, on the Lake Conway area in the city limits uh, for properties that are in low-lying areas there. Highway 64 West at the Faulkner County, Conway County line has been closed. However, Interstate 40 is still open. And when this event has passed, we will uh, ask the Corps to come in with a hydrologist and some of their engineers to take a look at our levee to see what kind of problems may have de developed uh, with the levee due to this flood, and we will uh, start working to maintain that for future events. But thank you for uh, your time today, and I will turn this over to David Hogue from Faulkner County. Hello. Uh, as I've said before, I see this happening in three stages as far as the super flood of uh, central Arkansas in 2019. Number one, the water came to Lolly Bottoms. Uh, then it creeped up through the creeks and tributaries into uh, the Greenbrier area, specifically Cadron Flats. At this point, most of the people in Cadron Flats have seen the water that they're going to see. It's going to stay around with us for a while, but if you've got your sandbagging done, that's you've got what you need to do, hopefully, and uh, hopefully it's been successful. From here, we expect to see Lake Conway rising. Uh, Lake Conway is still rising because the Arkansas River, Pilarm Creek, is flowing backwards over the Lake Conway spillway, and if you are in a low-lying area around Lake Conway, you need to be prepared at this point. If you've ever seen your house flood around Lake Conway, you're about to see it flood again. Sandbags are available multiple locations around the county. Go to the Faulkner County Facebook page or website. You'll see a list of places. Go to my personal web, uh, Facebook page. You'll see a list of places where sandbags are available. Prepare now. Centerpoint Energy has just announced this morning that they're about to shut off gas to roughly 135 uh, residents around Lake Conway. If you haven't heard that news, call Centerpoint, find out if you're one of them, and now's the time to get out, get your pets, take them to the shelter at Don Owen Sports Center, get yourself to the shelter at Don Owen Sports Center, take precautions now so that we don't have to do a rescue later. Thank you. And uh, as was just mentioned, I, that's what I wanted to call attention to as we continue to proceed through this process is just to remind everybody that the Don Owen Sports Complex is there to serve folks with the Red Cross. If you do have pets, the Faulkner County Animal Response Team is just right across the way and they are there to take your pets and to take care of them. Um, and as I read my notes here, uh, while the Red Cross appreciates the good intentions of those wanting to donate goods, supplies, and other materials, the best way to support is to make financial donations and you can go to redcross.org for that. Uh, the Red Cross is there, and uh, even if you do not need a place to stay, they can help you support with meals and uh, emotional support and other items as well. Uh, so please don't forget those resources. Uh, your, your community leaders, we're here to serve you. Please reach out to us for any needs that you have. We're thanking and praying for you. Thank you.